Now to a follow up on a story we brought you last week. Officials are offering some advice to prevent you from being scammed. KPVI News That Works For You reporter Andre Phillips joins us live from the studio with more. Andre. Thanks guys. Since we ran the original story, we've received so many comments on our social media regarding the alleged contractor scams. Today I spoke with a local man about his frustration in the Better Business Bureau about what steps you can take to prevent being scammed. It makes me upset. Sam Lopez is just one of many contractors who is disappointed after he watched our broadcast last Friday. After we showed one woman's outdoor deck in ruins after she allegedly got scammed by one contractor. You know what? I mean, that's just, it's evil. You know, it's sick. You know, nobody should do that. Owner of the Ultimate Handyman, Lopez is one of the good guys and says men like Brian Mietta, who allegedly scammed several people, make it harder for contractors like him to gain the public's trust. And it's been hard for me to uh, find work and that, and I don't want people to think that me as a handyman or a contractor that uh, I'm going to be that way. You know, I'm legitimate. And it just hurt me that he was just, you know, chasing the el elderly and the women. And that just struck a nerve with me. It wasn't cool. It just wasn't cool. According to the Better Business Bureau, scams like this one spiked during the summer. People, you know, someone comes to your door or by word of mouth, you hear, oh, someone did some work and oh yeah they probably work for me and so so many times people just kind of believe what they're told or what a friend tells them and then it sometimes ends up in not a good situation jeremy johnson with the better business bureau says one of the most important things to do is research we really suggest at the better business bureau you do your research we suggest getting three bids so many times word of mouth or someone said something you really need to do your research See, get three bids, look into, you can contact the Better Business Bureau. We can see if they um, have a profile with us. You can contact the state to see if there's proper licensing. And to avoid being scammed, Sam has this word of advice. Make sure that uh, you ask for credentials, license, insurance, you know what, references. I emphasize references. The Better Business Bureau suggests looking up contractor ratings on their website before letting them begin work on your home. We should also mention that we did not find any licenses for any companies owned by Mr. Mieta. If you need re repairs around the house, it's best to research different companies so you have an idea of how much it should cost. You should also be the one to initiate a project. Reporting live from the studio, I'm Andre Phillips. Back to you guys. All right, Andre.